my clothes were part of the dream, that my clothes were part of the world. You can't separate clothing in my, my world. You can't set the environment away from what you're wearing. So if you wore a pinstripe suit in North Carolina on your farm... It wouldn't work. No, but when you get on... Now, let me ask you, if you're on your farm now and you're getting dressed, you sort of feel like a farmer? You bet. You want to wear your farm clothes? Right. You wear your farm, what you think are the farm clothes that yeah. your dad wore or your, what you thought the farmer was. Right. Make you feel good? Make you feel like a real farmer? You bet. That's the answer to what I, to what I done. In other words, a lot of these things were romantic. Farm clothes, if you look at the kids today down in Soho, you look at the young guys today, what they're wearing, they wear jeans and boots and, and um, plaid shirts and some guys wear motorcycle jackets, some guys wear, uh, you know, different suits. Everyone has a little bit of a dream. They, they jump into that dream. They see something in magazines. Uh, they they want to be that guy they see. They want to see be that guy in the movie. They want to be that guy that's living a certain life. And so, clothing in my mind was not was the was the was the role. You get into it, and then you have to then you have to be. And so there are certain things that hero are heroic, or certain things that represent military clothes doesn't necessarily mean war. It means rugged sometimes, tough. It means uh, hero. It means lots of different things.